Big news coming into GM and the Chevrolet camp today. We're talking about the news in regards to the brand new 3-liter Duramax turbo diesel, not to mention the recently released, just today, 2023 Chevrolet Silverado ZR2 Bison Edition. With that, let's get going. So really, no better way to bring this news to you today than out here in the wilderness. I am actually up in Northern Michigan in a place called Traverse City at a campground called Timber Ridge. If you have kids, you gotta check this one out. Brought the kids here. What an amazing place. But unfortunately, or fortunately, as I'm here, Chevrolet decided to release the information on the new three liter Duramax that many of us have been waiting for, not to mention they've taken the sheets off the all new ZR2 um, Bison Edition, which is a pretty cool truck. Of course, recently we had just seen the 2023 um, AEV edition of the AT4X and of course the ZR2 is going in line with many of the things we're seeing on that truck of course and again the collaboration between American uh or AEV pardon me uh American Expedition Vehicles I think is what it was called sorry uh regardless with AEV uh is going to transition over to the ZR2 as well so with that let's get deep and diving into this uh, we're going to talk about the truck first then we're going to talk about the new stats on the new engine all right so like I said first let's talk about the ZR2 and when talking about the new 2023 ZR2 Bison Edition what a cool looking truck it is to begin with. But one of the things I want to get out of the way first, we are going to talk about this uh, Duramax in a moment, but I will say not to confuse the situation, but the Duramax is not going to be available in this ZR2 Bison. Just as a heads up, it's going to be available in select models, which Chevrolet hasn't said yet. We're going to talk about that in a moment though. But the ZR2 Bison is going to come with, just like the ZR2 does, standard with a 6.2 liter, 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pound of torque, V8, monster of an engine uh, so i'm glad they still have that it's kind of hoping to see the diesel in it but regardless of that what does this truck actually come with what does it have well first and foremost what we're seeing of course when it comes to av they want things to be more off-roady now the ground clearance is going to stay the same i believe it's around 11.2 inches i'm walking out here in the bush i don't have the information on hand but i believe that's what it is we're going to see a minor increase in the approach and departure angle in terms of degrees minor in the in what i say because it's not a whole lot, but if you're an off-roader, I'm sure you completely understand every inch, every degree makes a difference. Maybe just getting over that rock uh, that you need to get over. So you're going to have an increase there. And that's because they have got forged stamp steel uh, front and rear bumpers redesigned. So of course, that's going to, uh, they're cut up a bit higher. So of course, that's where your angles are coming from. Um, so, and, and again, different look. I, I like the looks of it. I think it's aggressive. I, I like the ZR2 and the white, and I like the Bison that way too. But so that's what we're seeing in terms of, uh, right now, in terms of the, um, uh, the bumpers on the outside, of course, more underbody skid plates, more rugged and more areas. It's going to cover basically the whole bottom, essentially, as well as covering it again as an off-roader. That's something you're absolutely going to want. Crawling over those rocks and obstacles. Now, the other thing, of course, 33-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. I love these new tires. I've always loved the dirt tracks, but I really like the Territory MTs. And it seems to be a tire the Chevrolet and GM uh, has been going to quite a bit recently. Now, again, this is all in conjunction and collaboration, of course, with AEV, as I mentioned. Um, and because of that, of course, they have the AEV stamp on the seats and the inside, you'll see AEV uh, stamped around on the outside of the truck as well. So that's kind of what the ZR2 is bringing to us. More rugged, more off-road, which is what we expected, like we saw recently uh, with the AT4X AEV edition. Now, all that being said, of course, the bigger news, I shouldn't say bigger news, sorry, the other big news is something a lot of you have been waiting for, which is the Duramax diesel information, the new three liter Duramax diesel. More horsepower, more torque. We're talking an increase on both of those. We are talking more torque in this three liter Duramax than we're seeing in the 6.2 liter v8 that i just talked about so the outgoing three liter duramax turbo diesel has been one of my favorites it is no slouch of course but the revised the revisions that they've done have increased the horsepower and torque creating more torque in this three liter duramax turbo diesel than our current 6.2 liter v8 monster has we're talking an increase of horsepower from 277 to 305 horsepower now i know horsepower has never been its claim to fame in the first place it's always been that torque the torque by the way used to be 460 which was incredible enough as it was for an inline six cylinder duramax it has now increased I'm walking over the leaves here to 495 foot pound of torque what an incredible engine this is going to be now again they're not they're not putting this out in the zr2 only uh, at least uh, as of what i know so far they are going to be putting in different uh, trim levels now how did they achieve this horsepower increase as well as the torque increase 
Well, they did this by changing four major components. They have new steel pistons, new fuel injectors, a retuned turbo compressor, and improved temperature control features. Now, the last one is something I wanna to touch on for a minute because I think that that's part of the reason why this is not being implemented in the ZR2 in the off-road truck because it has that cut up front end. I think there's less room for the cooling potentially. Uh, listen, all I'm doing is comparing it to what we have right now. Many of you are asking, why do they not have the three liter Duramax uh, turbo diesel in the uh, Z71 Tahoe? Well, the GM has basically said, or Chevy has basically said, the reason behind that is because the way it's cut up in the front, there, it's just not the room for it there. And I think that obviously, the Silverado being cut up even that much more may lend itself to that same reasoning. So, um, you know, I'm holding my breath that they bring it to this year too, but it may not until I thought maybe this redesign would have fixed that problem. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe they just want the Bison to uh, be on its own with the 6.2. I, I don't really know the reasoning behind it. All I know is I'm excited about the truck coming out. I'm excited about that 3 liter Duramax turbo diesel. The new numbers are outstanding. I can't wait to try it. Hit that subscribe button if you don't more, miss more news videos like this. But in the meantime, take care, everybody. Cheers.